have smoke coming out of a chimney or some sort of smokestack. A good chimney might be a rounded rectangle. A good corner radius converted to a medical spline. with an outline on it. And extruded. Underneath we could build the rest of the chimney, but we would want smoke coming out of this chimney stack here. So in the create panel under geometry, I'm going to choose particle systems. And there's several to choose from, but I'm going to use Super Spray, which is sort of a compilation of all the other parameters with the exception of PF Source. Anyway, with that on, I'll put it somewhere in the middle and zero out their X and Y coordinates. As with the chimney. Go ahead and call that the chimney top. emitter toward the top of the chimney. Now the parameters for the emitter are already, um, there are some default settings, in other words they're already set for you and it's already animating. So I can see a stream of particles already emitting from the emitter. I can set the timing and the spread and, and the other parameters here. So um, the easiest one is a 25 degree spread and off plane a 90 degree spread. So we'll show you what that does. It'll it'll spread particles in a in a conical fashion. Under the particle generation rollout, we can set the speed of the particles. I might want to lower that down, but I'll leave all these uh, pretty much where they are, and then we can we can adjust them as the smoke comes out. The size of the particle is fairly small, so I might want to up that number, and we can take a look at it and adjust it later. Now, the particle type, there are several ways to make smoke. Um, I'm going to go over the using a sphere as the standard type of particle. The rest of the makeup of the smoke is actually done in, in the material editor, so that's where I'm going to go next. So M on the keyboard, get to the material editor. Under the standard materials, I'll just add a standard material. For the diffuse color, I'd like to use a fall-off map. It's kind of a special map that allows the... I'm going to put it under the opa uh, opacity channel. The fall-off map, its parameters are basically the front of the map will be black and the sides of the map or perpendicular to the, the camera angle will be black and, and, and parallel to the camera angle will be white and so um, if I, I what I would want to do is swap these so that facing the camera in other words I'll have no opacity and it will fall off to completely um, or no transparency, it'll be totally transparent on the sides, and so it'll take care of the shape of that sphere. It'll still look like a sphere, but it'll, it'll fall off between those two. And I can change how it mixes, but in a, a linear fashion is fine. If I render this, well, I gotta add it to the selection, and now if I render this, I can take a look at the the spheres coming out of the smokestack. Now, this isn't ideal right away, but I should be able to see some of these smoke particles and how they're transparent on the edges. This isn't where I want to stop. Under this falloff map, the, the white, I want to add like a um, more opacity or transparency. So I'll use a, um, I can use a smoke 
material. And that way I can um, use the parameters of the smoke material, the size. I need to um, go back down to roughly twice to one and a half times the size of the particle. I think I set the particle to 20, so let's go 30. And we can change the exponent to make it darker or lighter. We'll make it fairly dark so that it's fairly transparent. So let's render that again, see what we see. A little tough to tell. Um, if I make the particles a little bigger, uh, where they're intersecting each other, uh, it might give a better effect. It should give a better effect. So, I'll set the size of the super spray particles. Uh, maybe triple and go to 30, and then change the size to 45. Just one and a half times. I'll take a look at that. I might also want to increase the number of particles, but let's see what that does. Now we can kind of start to see the smoke uh, starting to form. Looks nice and billowy. If there were more of them, then um, I might that might look pretty good. Also, I can change the speed, and that kind of clusters them together as well. So if I lower the speed and increase the number of particles. There's another parameter I want to talk about too, but let's go ahead and change the speed and the number of particles right now. They're at 10 millimeters, let's go half that. That bunches them up a little bit, and then uh, I'll increase the, the rate, maybe to 30, so that increases it. Um, also notice that the percentage of the particles in the viewport is a, is a tenth of what you'll see, what you'll see when you render. So that's that's why you don't see very many particles in the viewport. But when you render it, it becomes uh, it's much more dense. Let's render it again. much more dense and therefore the opacity um, you can see through it and it gives it depth so that's a nice way to notice how much longer it's taking to render really the only other thing would be to um, adjust the uh, emitter itself to position it to where the smoke looks like it's more filling the, uh, the cavity of the smokestack than the chimney also uh, what we'd like to do is perhaps change the timing a little bit so we can make sure the smoke doesn't come come out of the chimney too fast or too slow. And those are adjusted by the timing controls in uh, I'll go ahead and cancel that and render it again in a minute. So under the particle motion the speed, um, but if you look at the particle timing, if they start emitting at the frame zero and they'll stop at frame 30, they'll display until frame 100. They have a certain life to them, so each particle as it's emitted will last 30 frames. The size of the particle will grow from uh, for 10 frames and fade for 10 frames, so it only has 10 frames of being actual the actual size. That allows the smoke to expand and then die off or, or spread out and kind of fade away. So um, I'm going to move the emitter down until the smoke is inside. We'll do one last render for this tutorial. In the next video, I'd like to use a different kind of map to change the color of the smoke depending on the age of the particle. And that's a particle age uh, map that we'll use. But at this point, we're getting nice billowy smoke coming out of the chimney.
more moments and it'll be over. You can also adjust the spread of